Believe it or not, mankind's continued success as a species has largely been due to the ability of innovation and information gathering provided by mathematics. The convenient forms of travel we use every day, such as cars, trains, buses and aeroplanes, would not be possible were it not for the hundreds of calculations that allow for its design and function. One such equation is the lift equation used to calculate the lift created by aeroplane wings. The lift equation is lift equals coefficient times density times velocity squared divided by two times wing area. Without the lift equation, planes would not exist and we'd be unable to effortlessly travel thousands of kilometres in a few hours. Or how about the safety provided by mathematics in internet security every time we make a purchase on the web? Imagine how dangerous it would be online if maths wasn't used to encrypt important information such as credit card details. Or how about the way in which we can simply view weather predictions for upcoming days? This certainly wouldn't be possible without mathematical applications. Many recreational activities are also affected by calculations as well. Skiing and snowboarding are two perfect examples of this. It is imperative that a calculation of comfortable carrying capacity for ski lifts are carried out by dividing the vertical transport metres per day by the vertical demand, so as to make the lifts as safe and comfortable as possible. It is also important to find the gradient of skiing slopes through the equation y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. Clearly, many of our everyday tasks would not be possible without the use of maths. However, mathematics has also allowed for huge world problems to be identified and solved. Think of all the lives saved by disease predicting equations such as the Nave Bayes classifier. It reads, the probability of C given X equals the probability of X given C multiplied by the probability of C divided by the probability of X. This equation has been successfully used for years to help determine heart disease risk in people all over the world by predicting the probability that a data item is a member of a particular class. Another such example of this is the atmospheric dispersion policy. It reads, the concentration of emissions equals the source pollution rate divided by the horizontal wind velocity along the plume centerline times the crosswind dispersion parameter divided by the horizontal standard deviation of emission distribution times the square root of 2 pi times vertical dispersion with no reflection plus vertical dispersion with reflection from the ground plus vertical dispersion reflection from an inversion aloft divided by the vertical standard deviation of emission distribution times the square root of 2 pi. It constructs a mathematical simulation of how pollutants spread through the ambient atmosphere, which provides useful information on pollution emissions and effects. Thus, it is the dominant equation used in air quality policy making. The Bill Gates Climate Change Equation, also known as the KI Identity, can be used to estimate global carbon emissions. This equation breaks down carbon emissions into several factors. P, the world's population, S, services, E, energy required for those services, and C, the carbon dioxide produced from that energy. The aim of the equation is for both sides to equal zero, and thus to reach the aim of zero carbon emissions. The only way this is possible is for a component of the equation on both the left and the right side to equal zero. This can only be achieved through the use of renewable energies so that carbon dioxide is no longer produced as a byproduct. This equation is particularly relevant due to the growing concern and awareness of global warming and climate change. Evidently, maths is essential if we wish to succeed in supporting our ever-increasing expansion of life for years to come, now more than ever, as we look to the stars as our next place of life.